Hello Internet! In this video we are going to have a look at my Lipod, which uh, is one of the more important members of the team and probably the one that sticks out most if um, you know maybe you're new to the game or um, you know just been looking at all the teams in the meta game you know what on earth is there a Lipod doing uh, you know top cutting these events and, and winning that regional um, at the beginning of the year who knows well let's have a look at it uh, team builder here we go here's the Lipod um, it is a little bit different to the world. So this is 2013 world Lipod that I had. Um, the same moves, foul play, fake out, swagger, encore, as you can see here. Um, no dark gem anymore, and this one uh, was a bit of a strange spread, I suppose, because it was mostly into physical bulk, but um, just to get more stats out of the Pokemon, I put four into attack and four into special offense. Obviously, it doesn't really need attack. Uh, some of the spreads that I used, even at Worlds, um, looking back on it, you know, I, I don't think they're amazing. So, uh, um, the spreads, you know, the spreads I used this year, you know, they're the ones that are amazing, you know. So, <laughs> so this is the Lipid of this year. Uh, basically, um, I got rid of the four in attack and special offense. I just wanted it all into uh, physical bulk, really. Um, obviously, it needs max speed so that I can outspeed. Um, things that are base 105, so you know, if I come across a, a, a Mega Lup Honey, um, I'll be able to fake it out, I'll be able to get my fake out first because it's base 105, you know, before it Mega Evolves, and uh, you know, there's so many other things that are base 105 that, uh, I mean, not so much in um, the the, four, the the 15 format um, now, because you know, me and Shan, I'm sure that's 105 as well, it was nice to be able to outspeed and get a foul playoff onto that, but um, either way, um, max speed is very, very useful, and the rest of it allows it to take a U-turn from an adamant Landorus, um, as could the world's one. And it, you know, it can survive a Mac Punch, I'm pretty sure, from uh, Conkelder, it can survive all kinds of stuff as well. And um, it was just really handy to be able to take a U-turn from Landorus and um, you know, either hit the incoming thing with a foul play or um, you know, survive to hit um, you know, a fellow Kangaskhan with a foul play or something, you never know. But um, it helped. But as um, you know, players um, get wise to uh, what my life had done, um, and what happened twice in the UK national just a few days ago, um, people decided that it would be a wiser choice to actually superpower my life. So. Uh, yeah, Lipid got superpowered twice, which does take it straight down. So um, you know they weren't lured into um, just using U-turn on it, unfortunately. So uh, maybe this, you know, maybe Lipid isn't isn't the best Pokemon anymore, unfortunately. But um, here it is: um, no Dark Gem, um, Black Glasses instead. Uh, the Black Glasses actually came from last year, from 2014, because I used a combination of Lipid and jump off in the German Nationals last year and um, you know quite a few of the like Nugget Bridge Live tournaments and whatnot and the jump off had swagger on it and Lipid with black glasses allows it to one shot uh, plus two Kangaskhan which was plus two uh, Garchomp which was obviously more of a problem last year uh, basically the black glasses just adds that extra boost to um, the foul play damage which actually makes it very important um, Lipid does get a two hit KO onto most Kangaskhan uh, with the black glasses. Um, it brings Landorus down to a small amount, you know, possibly even a, bu a uh, brilliant Mac Punch range, definitely a Sizzle Bullet Punch range. Um, it just does a lot of damage. And um, what else will I use on it? Um, the only other item, and um, well, actually, there's two other items that I did consider using on Lipid. One of them is the safety goggles which does kind of make sense because Amoongus can maybe be a little bit of a problem for this team. So to be able to um, come in on a Spore would obviously help, but um, more than that, it would help if I was playing against um, a, a Perish Trap team or a Trick Room team where they relied on um, either the Perish Trapper or the Trick Room Setter to be protected by an Amoongus uh, with the Rage Powder. Um, with the Goggles, I would be able to Encore the Gengar into uh, Protect, I would be able to Encore the Trick Room Setter into Trick Room, um, and the Amoongus wouldn't be able to do anything about it. So, um, I suppose Safety Goggles did have some merit to it, but I did miss the Black Glasses um, on there. And um, 
although um, there's the Lipid here and there's the Lipid from Worlds, I did use a different Lipid at the end of 2013, uh, which isn't isn't mentioned in either of these, which had the eject button. Now I don't yeah I don't think that was published anywhere. My eject button Lipid. And uh, it sounds a bit strange, but it did work. It worked more in the 2013 format, though. Um, I did try it uh, a little bit this year, but it just doesn't work the same. The idea was, instead of having Swagger as uh, my third move on there, I had Trick. And with Trick, I could trick my jet button onto something and either Bullet Punch it or Mac Punch it or Thunderbolt it, or whatever it out, and then it wouldn't be a problem. Now, that was um, a bit more um, dangerous in the 2013 format, because I, I could put something to sleep and trick my thingy onto it, my jet button onto it, uh, Mac punch it out, and the sleep turns would reset. So that was actually really, really nasty. Uh, but it doesn't work so much this year, because um, I can't obviously trick uh, Mega Evolved Pokemon and um, obviously there's a lot more of them than there was in 2013, so <laughs> um, it just didn't work so much. Um, and, you know, the sleep turns don't reset anymore, so I couldn't reset the counter like I could back then. So um, I just opted for Swagger. Um, I used Swagger at Worlds. Um, it worked well for me then. Um, it does also give me um, something else for Aegislash, which can otherwise maybe be a little bit of a problem for this team, because if I can Swagger the Aegislash, it can't one-shot Lipid. Um, um, Sacred Sword, actually. You don't see many Sacred Sword Aegislash anymore, but I would still be um, you know, hesitant to say that that would one-shot Lipid. Um, I could swagger it if it hit itself, fantastic. If it didn't hit itself, then I could do a lot of damage to it with a, um, a Black Glasses boosted fake um, foul play next turn. So um, that's basically the idea behind the Black Glasses. It really does. Like if you do use Lipid, um, you know, try Black Glasses on it because I think I think it really does put it, you know, just that little bit extra damage. It gets so many more two hit KOs um, and one hit KOs if there's a Swagger behind it. So. Um, it's a nice Pokemon. Uh, obviously, Lipid, um, you know, you can read about it on my 13 report as well. It does just the same. Uh, it disrupts the team. It's got the fake out, the fast fake out, which is, um, you know, importantly faster than Kangaskhan. Um, although, in the focus, Kangaskhan did become a problem as that became more popular. Um, whenever I was faced with um, a Lipid Kangaskhan lead, um, it's always a really tricky. Thing. You never know if it's got inner focus or not, so I was never comfortable with the uh, the life of Kangaskhan sort of thing, um, you know, towards the end of, or towards now, I suppose, you know, towards the, this middle of the season. Um, but, um, you know, Foul Play Swagger Encore, again, obviously with the Brillum, um, it does kind of work the same as it did in 13 with the disruption and the spore and everything. But, um, you know, Brillum, well, you know, there's grass types now, but we'll get onto Brillum in, in, the, um, in two videos' time because we've got Sizzle first, so. Good old Lipid, um, you know, probably quite interesting um, for people who maybe didn't see this team in 2013 to see something like Lipid doing so well. Uh, but I suppose it is probably my favourite competitive Pokemon. Maybe I've used it um, longer than I should have. <laughs> I don't know. But there we go. Um, there's my Lipid spread. Um, and we'll get on to Scizor in a moment. So uh, thanks for watching this, guys. You know, head on to the Scizor video. Bye for now.